Would you like to have more money? If your answer is yes, one of the easier ways to have more money is by living more frugally. You might think frugal living is about being stingy and cheap, but it's about being resourceful so you can spend your money on the things that matter to you. Being frugal means you are intentional with how you spend your money. Cheap people buy the cheapest option at the store without thinking about it, but frugal people choose to spend less on things that don't matter to them. Here are 15 ways to live more frugally. 1. Split the costs on paid services if applicable. You might use a lot of services like Amazon Prime, Disney+, Netflix, and so on. A dollar might not be much each month, all those services add up to a decent amount at the end of the year. If you have some friends and family who also use the same services, consider sharing the same account on that platform. If you are lucky and they allow you to use their account for free, congrats. 2. Get rid of any paid subscriptions you don't use anymore. If you don't use those services anymore and you're still paying for them, you're essentially throwing money into a void. Cancel them and if you want to use them again, then pay for it or split the cost with someone like step 1 mentioned. 3. Buy used items. For luxury items like cars and expensive clothes, this can save you a lot of money. The value of those items drop a lot after a single use, and there isn't really any difference between a used item and a brand new item. If you are buying used items like clothing or jewelry, be sure to check if the item is legit, since there are a lot of fakes out there. 4. Walk or bike whenever you can. You might not be able to apply this tip depending on where you live. Driving around or calling an Uber can get expensive after many trips. It's more cost effective to walk or bike. It also lets you get some exercise in, which can improve your mood. 5. Make your coffee at home. According to the internet, millennials spend over $2,000 on coffee per year. That's a lot of money. Getting caffeine in the morning might be important to you, but you don't have to break the bank to do so. If you can make your own coffee at home, it can save you a lot more money. You might also make something better tasting. 6. Buy things in one go. Sometimes, things like phones allow you to buy now and pay later, where instead of paying for everything up front, you pay a certain amount each month. It's cheaper to pay everything up front instead of paying each month. If you can't afford to pay for it all up front, you probably shouldn't be buying that item. This tip applies to subscriptions that you know you will use as well. If you know you are going to the gym, it might be cheaper to get a yearly membership than a monthly one. 7. Stop impulse buying. Now that you can pay for anything online, it's really easy to impulse buy something. Most of the time when you impulse buy something, you don't even need the item. You're just wasting money on something you'll use once or twice and never again. One thing that helps prevent impulse buying is to make sure you don't save your credit card info on the website. This way, you'll need to get your card out every time you want to buy something, which can be a lot of work. 8. Shop around for the best insurance. Insurance is expensive. It's important you choose the best plan for your needs and budget. When you find out what you need, look around for the best deal. This can save you thousands if done right. 9. Don't buy drinks when you go out to eat. Seriously, just drink water. It will save you a lot more money. Drinks, especially alcoholic ones, are very pricey. All the alcoholic drinks go for over $10 where I'm from. It's fine to get them once in a while for a special occasion, but limit yourself. After all, when you go out to eat, the food is the main attraction. 10. Get takeout less often. It's cheaper to cook your own food at home. If you are ordering food for both lunch and dinner, that's a lot of money. To make the transition to cooking more at home, I suggest you choose a day or multiple days per week depending on what you are comfortable with to cook at home. As you get more comfortable, choose more times to cook at home and keep repeating the process until you reach a good balance point. 11. Wait for deals. If you're not in a rush to buy something, and that item isn't going to sell out anytime soon, wait until the item goes on sale for a cheaper price. There's no point buying something for more if you can just wait a little to get it for a better price. 12. Buy in bulk. For common home items like toilet paper and soap, it can be cheaper to buy in bulk. The price per unit is cheaper when you buy in bulk, and it will save you more trips to the store. If you can buy food in bulk for cheap, make sure to eat them before they perish. 13. Embrace do-it-yourself projects. Buying something is a lot easier, but it's more expensive. If you like making your own products, this tip is for you. You can create products like beauty products or cleaning products to have some fun and save more money. 14. Fix your problems. Before you call the handyman, check if you can fix the problem yourself 
by searching up a tutorial on YouTube. No one likes paying household expenses when something goes wrong, and if you can fix it yourself, you won't have to worry about the cost. 15. Travel smartly Travel can get expensive, so you should do everything you can to make sure you spend less, but still have a good time. You can do things like use credit card rewards to get free flights, car rentals, or hotel stays. You could also get an Airbnb over a hotel stay if that Airbnb is cheaper. These are some of the best ways to live more frugally. You don't have to implement all of them, and it might not make sense for you to implement some of them. Remember, being frugal is about spending money on what matters to you. So if something is important to you, go for it. Just make sure you're getting the best possible deal. Which tip was your favorite? Leave a comment below and check out this video on how to be financially free if you're interested in learning more about personal finance.